There, so if you've watched the previous video, you know how I ended up being bitten by my neighbor's cat. Um, so as soon as I dealt with the cat, which means giving it back to his owners, uh, I knew that I had to go to the ER. Uh, because I know that cats have filthy mouths and that animal bites are best be dealt with uh, quickly. So the neighbors drove me down and the um, doctor looked at it. Um, Congratu congratulated me for coming straight away or something. Maybe congratulate isn't the right word. And, um, well, basically looked at it, disinfected, uh, gave me antibiotics by IV. Uh, so, you know, stick a needle in your arm and then let, let it drip into you. Uh, prescribed me some antibiotics and said I should, you know, drop in and, and they bandaged it. That's the first photograph that you can see on the blog post and uh, said that uh, I should come the next day, possibly, if possible, in the morning to have it looked at and see how things were going. So, which I did. This morning I went down and, uh, well, a few of the holes had, were pretty infected, so they, you know, injected betadine solution in it to disinfect it. That hurts like hell. And I came back with this um, splint. So it's actually just for the thumb, right? Uh, the bites are here. But uh, as it's infected, you need to prevent the infection from spreading. I need to stay quiet, and my hand needs to, be, to stay quiet. And so this thing actually forbids me from doing anything with my hand, and that's the point. So basically, it's just there. Um, and then I had to go again. So they did me. They gave me, gave me another IV this morning because it doesn't look very nice. And uh, told me to come again in the evening. So in the evening. Tonight I went again, and uh, they gave me another IV, and they upped the dosage of the antibiotics because, even though it didn't look much more nasty, it wasn't clearly getting better. And uh, so now I know that I'm gonna be friends with this thing for another at least I don't know two three days, hopefully not more than that because it's it's a disaster. I can't do anything. I mean I can't I can't cook. I can't do the washing up. I can barely get dressed. Um, it's really, really annoying. Try imagining, you know, doing everyday life, and, and I can't type, of course, and that is really, really a big problem because uh, I should be typing all day these days for going solo, and I just, I can type with one hand, but that doesn't go very far, particularly as I have RSI, so if I overuse one hand, I'm going to come down with RSI on the other hand. Anyway, it's a mess, um, and uh, so this evening, as they decided that I'm, I was going to need uh, more IVs over the weekend, they suggested that I have a catheter put in, so this is the thing there. So you can see the little little tube there. Uh, whoops, see the little tube. Um, basically, they just stuck a thing in my wrist, and there's a little tube with a with a um, a tap, and like that, they don't have to stick a needle in my arm each time because they already, you know, made two holes in here, and there are only that many veins that you can stick needles in and it was starting to become a problem. So there I am. So I've got this this hand I can't use, and this hand I can, and the thing in there is plastic, but it hurts, and it's not very comfortable, and I can't move my... Anyway, I'm complaining a bit, aren't I? Um, I'm not very happy with the situation, especially as, you know, I did something really stupid. So be careful with animals. Even if they're nice, don't forget that they have teeth. <laughs>